Welcome to Cubrator YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about Docker Content Trust and give you a demo how to sign the image using the Docker Content Trust utility. Trust is a major factor. Uh, the DevOps CI CD introduces several tools into the pipeline. We download a lot of stuff from internet. We download libraries, uh, software binaries, third-party APIs, and we do a lot. We also pull containers for testing purposes and uh, deployment. Now the question is, when you pull the container, the question is, do I trust the source? How do you trust the source? Several of us are familiar with the uh, uh, GitHub uh, signing process. We can use the GPG key to commit your code. You can use the first phrase to commit the code. So the GitHub repository knows that it is coming from the right source. Uh, Docker Content Trust have the similar thing. All it does provide a digital signature for the container. So when you transmit the container from your host to the registry or from the registry to your host, you know that it is not tampered. It is coming from the trusted source. That is the whole objective of Docker Content Trust. There are four steps uh, to enable Docker Content Trust for your environment. You have to generate the Docker Trust key, then add the signer to the Docker repository, sign the image. After doing all three steps, you have to enable the Content Trust flag at your Docker host. It is very important. Otherwise, you cannot pull the signed images from the repository. I'm going to show you these steps practically, you know, how that works. I also gave you the comments in the slide. It's, it shows how to generate key, how to adding the signer to the repository, how to sign the image. How to sign in the image, you have to verify the signature process went through. So there is a command Docker trust inspect. You can use that uh, to check it. Then you have to enable the content trust on the Docker host to pull the signed images. Uh, I tested the comments a few times. You can change the values according to your needs and you can try it out. It will just work fine. Uh, let's go to the demo now. I created a, a repository called a Demo Content Trust at the Docker Hub with, a, with an image, with a Tomcat image. It is an unsigned image. I will be going to use the image for the demo purpose, how to sign it and uh, how to pull it back with the right uh, content trust values. I documented all those comments here so I can reduce the length of the video. I'll be going to copy and paste these comments at my uh, VM so you can see you know, how, this, how this will work. So I type Docker images and you know I have no image now. Let's start generating the key. Docker trust, key generate Larry. You can give any name you want. I give the first phrase. This is it. Now you can see the key Larry.pub. If you want to see the content of the key, more Larry.pub, it's just a public key. I will be going to use this key to sign the repository and also sign the container with other, other commands. I am going to add this signer to the repository. So I can build the address between my host and the repository. I will create a Docker trust signer. I am adding the key to the repository that I was showing you before. This is it. Enter the first phrase. This is it went through. Now I completed two steps. The third step, I am going to pull the image. Docker pull, I give the tag name and uh, the image, it is an unsigned image. I have no trust now, so it can, it can pull just like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tag the image with a word signed so I can distinguish between these two images uh, uh, how I am going to 
uh, show the demo. Okay, so here's the Tomcat V1. I just pulled it. I'm going to tag the image with a word called signed so you can see the differentiation. Simple tag, use the Docker image tag command with Tomcat V2 signed. That's it. If I type Docker images, now we can see two tags sitting in my Docker host. And I want to sign the image. The signature is already there. I'm going to use the Docker trust sign command to sign the signed uh, tag. This is it. I have to enter the first phrase that I gave before. This is it. I sent the Docker image. It is done. Now, I want to inspect the image. I want to make sure the signing process went through. Okay, it looks beautiful. Uh, I have the signer. The signer is Larry. And I signed this image. And I have the keys. It shows all those keys. It shows the repository key and root key. The signing process went through. It is successful. Now, I am going to push this signed image into the Docker repository because I want to enable the content rest at the Docker host. Then I want to pull the signed and unsigned images to show the difference to you. Let me clear the screen. I'm going to push this image. It is going now. It went through. If I go back to my uh, repository and give it a refresh, it came through here. Now, Tomcat V2 sign. Now I have a and now I have a regular image, unsigned image. I also have a signed image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enable the content trust at the Docker host. This is a simple variable. We export Docker content rest is equal to one. You have to persist this variable uh, into your environment. If you log out, it will go away. Then your content rest uh, will not work. Uh, it is important. Now, after enabling the Docker content rest, I am going to pull this image, that is the unsigned image, that is Tomcat V1. It will fail eventually because there is no signature. Let, let, let's see this practically. Uh, click on the paste. See, no valid trust data for Tomcat V1. You cannot download because Tomcat V1 is not signed. Now let's try the signed image, see if it comes through. Tomcat V2 signed image that is already sitting in the uh, Docker Hub. When I click on it, here you go. It's beautiful. You can able to download. I type Docker images. Now I have the Docker V2 signed. It came down. This is it, right? So when you enable the Docker content trust in your host and sign the image, you can be able to uh, only pull the signed image into your system. So you can trust with the digital signature. There are a few comments, you know, how to revoke the sign, you know, how to, you know, play with certain security options, how to use your own key and all. You can refer the Docker document and it is, it is a very beautiful document. You can, you can see all those scenarios and uh, try it out. Uh, but at the high level, uh, this is it, you know, you all, all four steps, generate key, add the signer, sign the image, enable the Docker content trust and pull two images and test it out. That's all about Docker Content Trust. Uh, thank you for watching.